Well, hey guys, happy weekend. Welcome to the vlog. Before I go make my coffee, I want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Hero Cosmetics. The Mighty Patch is my go-to recommendation for a hydrocolloid patch. They are commonly referred to as pimple patches, but they are an effective tool for protecting breakouts from your fingers, especially if you're someone who has a tendency to squeeze. They act as a barrier, protecting the pimple from frictional forces that could otherwise irritate it. Now they've always had the round patches, but I think a year or so ago, they came out with the nose patch. This is a really great option. If you get breakouts on your nose, blackheads, whiteheads, you may be staring at them in those pore mirrors, wanting to squeeze them. Y'all know from my videos, squeezing a pimple, a blackhead, a whitehead, probably one of the worst things you could do. It just brings in more inflammation. I don't know what it is though. People are fascinated with squeezing their skin and actually can be a really hard habit to break. These are super helpful. So the way they work is they're made of high quality hydrocolloid that adheres to the skin comfortably. You can wear them overnight as you sleep or you can wear them throughout the day. And that hydrocolloid helps to absorb inflammatory exudate from within the pore, from within the pimple. Ultimately, that's gonna help flatten it out and facilitate healing and recovery of the pimple. It also helps to just absorb some excess sebum off the surface of the skin so that when you wake up in the morning, your pores don't appear as prominent. I've tested out many of these hydrocolloid patches over the years in an effort to find the best one. Always come back to Hero Cosmetics. Why? A, they adhere to the skin really well. They don't flake off or start to lift up. B, they're not noticeable. Like you can wear the patch on your face and people don't notice. If you ever try and cover a pimple with makeup, it ends up looking cakey and flaky and it ends up being actually more noticeable if you try and cover a pimple with makeup than if you do nothing at all. But these nicely camouflage it so it's more subtle, but they don't irritate it. They don't make it look flaky or anything of that sort. They lay flat on the skin from a distance and you can't tell you have it on at all. Only when you get like really up close could you maybe notice it. But even then, it's a lot less noticeable than trying to cover it up with makeup. And it helps cut down on frictional forces that would otherwise irritate the pimple and make it more inflamed, more red. And that hydrocolloid helps to absorb that inflammatory exudate from within a really inflamed pimple. Ultimately, that's gonna help flatten it out. They're also a safe option in pregnancy. It's just hydrocolloid, totally safe to put on the skin. I also really like that Hero Cosmetics has a wide array of different shapes and sizes. They make a rectangular patch that's really great for the angle of the jawline where a lot of people get clusters of breakouts. And the following morning, it can be really gratifying actually to peel that back and observe any inflammatory exudate that may be on the patch. Much better than picking or squeezing or staring at yourself in those pore mirrors that make everything look larger. You get 10 patches in this box. Hero Cosmetics doesn't just make these patches though. They have a few different skincare products that I have tried out and reviewed for you guys over the years that are really good. They also make a really good sunscreen that I highly recommend. It's a mineral sunscreen, super moisturizing. I also like using it on my hands to protect the backs of my hands from sun exposure. It has a green tint, which is great for masking redness. But right now, Hero Cosmetics is running a great offer. If you click the link in my description box and you use my code Dr. Dre, you can get 15% off site-wide plus free shipping on orders over $35. I find these are an incredible tool for people who struggle not to pick at their pimples just by serving as that barrier, but they're comfortable to wear. They don't make people feel self-conscious. Like, can people notice that I'm wearing something on my face? But yeah, I'm a huge fan of these. Like I said, I've tried out so many of them over the years and I always come back to these as my go-to recommendation because of the quality, the performance, they just work well. So thank you, Hero Cosmetics, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. All right, time to transform into a human being with the magic beans.
All right, you guys are looking at the French press about to be pressed here and your experience is, you know, typical, but <sighs> bright eyes, every now and then I fall apart. I really need you tonight. I just put my little clip on ring light on for dramatic effect. Because once upon a time I had light in my life. Now there's only love in the dark. There's nothing you can say. Sing in the comments. Total eclipse of the heart. All right, it's time to clean my makeup brushes. This little box, I adore. It was actually part of a PR package. So I don't know if they make these for purchase. And it's an amazing little holder for makeup brushes because you can put it out like this or you can fold it together to take up less space. Love it. All right, I'm gonna get to washing them. This is what I use to wash my makeup brushes with, this little gizmo. I love it, it works really well. Then I take a few drops of this Eco Tools brush cleaner. You don't need much. I got this on Amazon and it's gonna last an eternity. <laughs> now let's get a clean towel to dry them on. This is an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I've had these e.l.f. brushes for a couple of years now. Fire up! This brush is really good too. Yeah, the little nubbins on the basin get all of the powder out of the bristles. So I did a refresh on my water. <laughs> this is a Real Techniques brush. I don't use it that often. Yeah, this thing is great for washing the makeup brushes. I love it. It's kind of fun to do too. <laughs> I just store it in my linen cloth. I'm here in Costco and they got these acrylic tumblers. It's really festive. I don't know why. $17.99 for the 8-pack. They're pretty. I also have this thermo flask. I don't need any more water bottles though. I have so many of these tumblers. I have to uh, resist the temptation. But open drinking glasses. I could use a Reboot on those. I have the Disney PJ sets here. Harry Potter. Doesn't get cold enough really to necessitate that. This Honeydew lounge set looks comfortable. I like this one. The pattern. These are on sale. They're originally $19.99. They're $4 off. $15.99. Ooh, I love this Maddie M. Chenille cardigan. $19.99. It's a pretty color. What does it look like? This one is out of the packaging. Live Love Lounge by Karen New. Ooh, these are smooth operator. They kind of remind me um, a while ago, Lucky Brand. There, were, uh, there was a pajama set by Lucky Brand. Kind of reminds me of these, except personally, I don't like pajama pants that are ankled like that, like joggers. I like them to be loosey-goosey around the ankles. Ooh, these Nautica ones are super soft. Ooh, fleece, extra small too. How much are those? $16.97. Uh, speaking of Lucky Brand, they have the lounge pants. They don't have the complete sets though anymore. But these are really good quality. They hold up pretty well, or at least the set I had was pretty good quality. It lasted, I would say, two years before getting kind of worn. I'm really rough on pajamas though. Ooh, this is nice. Free to be braided butter pile jacket. It's nice and soft. $14.99, that's a great deal. These Eddie Bauer two-pack of joggers, $14.99. That's a really good price for those. Well guys, I made it back from Costco and my goodness, prices have gotten 
up there. I did manage to find a few good deals. Like right now they're having a sale on tofu. So I just went ahead and stocked up because fun fact, if you didn't know, if you like tofu, you can actually freeze tofu. It freezes beautifully. It kind of changes the texture in a good way, in my opinion, of the tofu if you freeze it. But yeah, uh, it's right now you get the uh, box of, I think it's four packages of tofu for, I wanna say it was $4.69, which is pretty good because one package of tofu, I think is like four or five servings. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, and I find that tofu is like really easy to prepare. You don't have to put a lot of work into it. So it's nice to have on hand. Update on the uh, workout organization center that I assembled last weekend, still holding strong. I mean, if it had fallen apart in that short amount of time, then that would be worrisome. But I went ahead, I have one of these um, ring things. Honestly, I never use it, uh, but I've got one. And so I just hung it on here. And then I also found when I was organizing my closet, another set of ankle weights. I don't know what that dust is on there, but so I went ahead and put those there. But I found this basket on Amazon too. I don't know if you guys remember, I think it was a few weeks ago, I was in, where was it? Oh, Home Goods, looking for something like this to store blankets in. And I came across this on Amazon. It sort of matches my rug and whatnot. But I have this um, fleecy blanket. I like to put these over my legs when I'm like doing computer work or reading my book here. Um, and in the evening time. And then this blanket, so soft. This came in a FabFitFun box. It's um, like, I think the brand is called Fur, what's it called? Unhide is the brand because I also have this matching pillow. So yeah, those are, those are really soft, Unhide brand. I have two of those blankets from FabFitFun. And then I also got that little pillow recently. Speaking of home items, I wanted to share this with you guys. It was a gift that I got for Christmas. Isn't it pretty? Um, I think it came from eBay. It's Royal Winton. I just thought it was so pretty. I think it's meant to put letters, but I also thought it would be pretty if you have like a really nice vanity to put your makeup palettes on, you could do. I don't know, I have it there because I just think it's so unique looking and it kind of matches my pineapple. All right, I'm out of the shower. Update, last weekend I shared a little mini eye herb haul that I was on the hunt for some SPF lip balms, which I should be reviewing for you in an upcoming video. I've used this one in the past, the Aquaphor SPF lip balm. I like it. For me, it can get a little on the drying side though. And it's, I've always attributed it to the fact that this is a chemical sunscreen, but I've recently been trying out just the plain immediate relief lip repair. And it's pretty good, but it's not like, the immediate remedy relief that I get from just putting either Aquaphor or Vaseline or CeraVe healing ointment. Um, it's kind of a little stiff. If you get my drift. Hey, I made her arm there. Like, it puts a really thin layer on the skin. It puts a thin layer out. This is decent. I've been using this Elastoplast I purchased on Amazon a while ago. This is a good option too. It's a uh, petrolatum based ointment. I said they sell this in Australia, but it says it's distributed Beersdorf UK, Birmingham. Fun fact, I've actually been to Birmingham uh, in the UK. Uh, I gave a talk there at the <laughs> university a long time ago. <laughs> uh, and I remember, okay, I'm going off on a tangent. Uh, I remember when I got there, I flew into London, I stayed the night in London, and then I took the train to Birmingham. And when I arrived, it was like late afternoon, they had some mixer planned for us, and the woman got, was so excited, the person who was coordinating this conference, she comes in and she's like, there's going to be pims on the lawn. And at the time, I had no idea what the heck pims were. It's some sort of fruity liqueur. And I was like, pims on the lawn? Like, I, I had no idea what that was. I was kind of freaking out that it was something I was supposed to prepare for. I thought, oh my God, are we gonna play some kind of game? It was on a cricket field. I think it was on a field where they play cricket, I wanna say. And we had this pims drink, which is actually kind of pleasant. I don't drink alcohol, but um, 
This I did sample and it was rather pleasant. It's like uh, a liquor, like a liqueur. I have since seen it a lot sold here in the US. You definitely can buy it um, to try it out if you want to. And if you're, of course, over the age of 21. Um, anyway, yeah, they served it with like a bits of fruit, like almost like a British sangria, I'd say. But yeah, I'll never forget that because I had no idea what Pims on the lawn was gonna entail. And it basically was a cocktail hour on the lawn. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, all that to say, um, I've been using this uh, because I saw somebody on Instagram talking about it. I was like, oh, I'll give that a try. <clears throat> it's pretty good. It's kind of like, it's white petrolatum, paraffin oil, saracen wax, glycerin, panthenol, and glycerol stearate. This is a good option for cuts, scrapes, anywhere we have chafing. It's great for your eyelids. Um, these ingredients are not uh, common allergens. Like there's no, some people are, end up becoming allergic to beeswax. Saracen wax is totally different. Just put a little on my eyelids here. Oh man. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about this stick aquaform. Um, another lip treatment, lip product that I really like is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Treatment. That's a great one as far as a product, but it's not in the stick. Oh yeah, that was a fun trip. And then I got, then I had a few extra days before I was supposed to fly back. So I took the train back to London and I got to spend a few days there. And this was a long time ago. I had a really good trip there. Like I did all the touristy stuff. And I remember going on a run around, um, oh God, what's the park there? Hyde Park. And that was a lot of fun. People were super polite. And um, the one thing I struggled with at the time, bear in mind this was a long time ago, um, I had a hard time finding coffee there. Uh, and there was a Starbucks, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm just going to Starbucks. And the Starbucks I remember being at the time, now it's no big deal, but at the time I remember thinking, my goodness, this is really expensive for Starbucks, um, you know, with the the exchange rate and everything. Um, but y'all know me, I gotta have my coffee. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I stayed, this was before Airbnb, but I stayed at kind of like a, a little boutique type hotel. And I remember they had a automated, an automatic coffee machine that I, I just thought was the bee's knees, but I was kind of afraid to use it, that it was they were gonna charge me for it. And they're like, oh no, that's complimentary. And I was like, oh really? And that was, uh, yeah, I remember hitting that up, the complimentary coffee shop. And what did I do? I went and saw a play. I went and saw Chicago, which is kind of odd. Go to London and see Chicago. I went to the museums, which are fantastic. Um, and I, I had a great time. I was only there for a couple of days, but I really felt like I got to see everything. I saw Buckingham Palace, um, and I walked a lot. Um, it's a very walkable place and it's beautiful. It's very clean. Comment below, those of you who live in the UK, do you live in London? Do you go there often or do you live in Birmingham? Birmingham was charming. I rather enjoyed the train ride over there too. It was a really picturesque, uh, place. It looked like a nice place to go to university. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Don't forget to check out Hero Cosmetics. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.